Another family game when daughter becomes mother's best friend. If a mother does not have uh, friends, if she does not have a friend with whom she can share her deepest feelings, if she had a bad relationship with her own mother, so she cannot go to her and ask for advice, then a mother is going to place her daughter into this position. A daughter becomes a mother's best friend and the law of hierarchy says that everybody has its own place and one person cannot replace the another. So the mother should be a mother and daughter should be a daughter. Mother and daughter cannot be best friends and daughter cannot treat her mother as her child. But when a daughter becomes uh, the best friend, mother best friend, she will turn into a toxic dependent relationship. Her mother will constantly ask her to help her with everything. Uh, she will seek for her daughter's advice in any situation. She will, uh, her mother will ask her daughter to discuss her sexual relationship with her. And she will not accept the fact that her daughter might have her own secrets, might have her own life. And she will say something like this, I'm your mother and you should, must, supposed, have to share everything with me. And as a result, we're going to have two lonely, unhappy women. Why? Because let's, let's say a mother decided that her daughter is going to be her best friend and her daughter is only 11 and the mother is a single mother and she's dating a guy and one day she is asking her daughter if she's supposed to marry him or not. And as a result, now the daughter is responsible for mother's future life, for mother's decision. And this is very important decision. Who should you marry to? Let's say the daughter said, yes, you should marry him. Uh, and in this case, if the mother is not going to be happy in her new marriage, the daughter is going to be responsible. It's going to be her daughter's fault. She will say something like, I have to live with this terrible man because my daughter liked him. I cannot divorce him. I am going through all these struggles just because of my daughter. And the opposite reaction, if the daughter says that, um, no, I don't want you to marry, uh, you know, Jay, right? then um, the mother might start blaming her years later. She will say, I never married, I did not marry because my daughter did not approve it. And she will be blaming her daughter for ruining her life. Another example, let's say that the daughter is not a little girl anymore. Maybe she is in her 20s or her 30s. And the mother is coming to her and asking her how to solve the conflict at work. And again, uh, she's asking for daughter's advice. She's trying to put responsibility for her own life into her daughter. So she will be the one to blame if uh, uh, the situation is gone, not going to go as expected. And when the daughter is used to this role, she can say something like this. Uh, I don't have kids, but I have a mother. My mother is like a child. She cannot survive without me. I have to be with my mother. I have to always help her. She's, uh, I love my mother and this is our relationship. She trusts me completely. I'm her best friend. But again, a mother should be a mother. A daughter should be a daughter. And each of them should find their own friends because this situation is bad for both, for a mother and for daughter. Once they become best friends, the daughter will diminish her mother. The mother will become irresponsible and dependable. The daughter will say, my mother needs me. She cannot survive without me. She needs my advice. She needs my help. And I'm the daughter. She gave, she gave a lot of... She, she gave her love, her life... For me, now I have to pay her back. And the daughter will not have enough time for her own life. She will spend a lot of energy, a lot of time, a lot of thoughts and efforts just to make her mother happy.